Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain you how we can create the loading spinner using the component library. So what is the loading spinner? We use the loading spinner to display the progress of any task where we don't know the how much time our task will take, where we don't know the exact completion time. So that time we use the loading spinner. So to download the loading spinner, I am using this URL and in this URL you can find lot of the loading spinner so I will download with this one so now let's go back and create a component library So let me first upload this loading spinner. Loading spinner is uploaded. Add the image control. Select this spinner. Select the component. And I just want to fill this component with this color. So in my previous video, I have already explained you how we can import the component library in our canvas application and how we can consume this. So for now, to test this loading spinner component, I am using component library screen itself. So now let's add some label and button. navigate and this button to navigate type screen one as a text increase some font size fill the background color <coughs> now this now let's add another screen. We'll explain you why I'm adding this. <coughs> Just copy and paste. Change the label text. Screen 1 to screen 2. And now navigate screen 2. Now let's suppose if we are navigating screen 1 to screen 2 and in the screen 2 if we go and check on visible property and suppose if on visible property if we are fetching or writing any filter any clear collect any uh, performing any join using the filter and add to column and which is taking time so that time we don't want to expose our UI until unless our task is not completed so that time we go with the loading spinner so let's see how we can achieve this so let me first add the component our component name is one <coughs> so header will be fixed so i just want this <coughs> so if you are going to show any loading spinner so that control should be at top of each of every control inside your screen so now on visible property of the screen what i am doing i am just creating a variable spinner as a true <coughs> let me expand this section <coughs> so 
so right now i just not connected with my data source so what i'm going to do i'm just explaining you let's suppose this is the commented section let's suppose if you're on visible property of your screen if you are uh, fetching the data using the filter and then you are creating a uh, any collection uh, and uh, you are uh, setting some variables so and suppose if it is if it is taking time let's suppose two minutes so that time you don't want to display your whole ui you just want to display your the loading spinner during this time so what will happen let's suppose so right now i'm just creating a variable which i'm going to use in this component so what will happen i'm marking this uh, variable as a two so so right now this variable is as a two so what will happen during that time so uh, it will take a time so after completion of this all the activities i'm marking this variable as a false so let's see what we need to do we just need to copy this loading spinner variable and go back to the component and we just go to this visual property of this component and type it here so now you can see this right now uh, previously let me remove this so if we are making this uh, visible property of this component it is true so you can see this loading spinner is working but we want during this completion of the activity so what we need to do we need to just paste this loading spinner so now you can see this button which is uh, in the back of this all the uh, component one control so now let's run this so before clicking on this navigate button right now i am just not fetching any data so you can directly see there is a no effect in the screen too the reason is it is running very fast it is first marking this variable as a true and in the next step it is marking this variable as a false so now what we need to do let me just to explain you i am i am just adding a timer control let me add this timer control here so you can also see what is the time so i am just reducing this one minute to six second and set the auto property as a true and now what we need to do i will just copy this update construct and then go back to the timer control and in the timer control we have a property on timer and so what will happen after the six second on timer and control property will be hit so during this time this on timer and property will mark this loading spinner variable as a false so now let's go back to the screen one navigate screen so now you can see loading spinner is running because right now this update context variable is true so after six seconds you can see this navigate button control and this timer control successfully mark this loading spinner variable as a false so you can use this component once after creating it you can use this component library in your canvas app thanks for watching please subscribe my channel See you next video. Bye-bye.